Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Teresa Chimambam. Today I'm going to be talking about general inorganic chemistry and I'll be covering the topics that you'll be covering in your first year. So for lecture one, I'll be talking about a, a general introduction to inorganic chemistry. I'll be discussing uh, what science is all about, matter, the different states of matter, uh, scientific notations, and we'll be talking about quantities and units that are used in chemistry and measurement of temperature. So we start by knowing uh, what science is all about. Everything that happens around us happens for a reason. And science provides a means of finding solutions to everything that happens around us. Say, for instance, this uh, period that we are in coronavirus uh, period, scientists are working day and night to find solution to the problem. So science deals with facts. That's why every scientific theory can be proved in the lab. So science provides a means of, you know, finding solutions to things that happen around us. Okay. So if you look at these pictures that I have here, you see this little boy, he has made an observation and he's having a look at it. And here you see these two guys, they are actually carrying out experiments in the lab. And here they have made some observation. They have carried out reactions and they are having a look on the reaction that they have carried out. You see here, these three guys, they are actually observing the reaction that they have carried out. Remember, I say science is all about finding solution to problems. And you see this girl here, she has carried out some experiment and she's having a look using the microscope. Look at these little girls. They are really excited, as you can see from their looks. They have carried out experiment and wow, they, ob they observed an amazing reaction. So this is what science is all about. Scientists are always very inquisitive. They want to know why things around them have happened. Why did they happen? They want to know why and they want to know how. This is what science is all about. So science helps us to understand the world that we live in. It provides a means of investigating what is happening around us and it helps us to solve problems. So science is very, very important because without scientists, a lot of observations that are happening around the world, there won't be anyone to provide the solution. But because we have scientists, it is possible for us to get solutions to things that happen around us. So now we'll be looking at how scientists go about solving problems in the world. So like this period that we are in coronavirus period, how do scientists go about trying to find a vaccine that can actually uh, prevent one from catching the virus? So we'll be looking at the scientific methods that we can use to understand nature. We'll be looking at how scientists go about solving problems in the world. So we now look at the steps of the scientific method. So the first thing that happens is that the scientist makes an observation. So when the scientist makes an observation, he begins to ask questions regarding the observation he has made. And when he begins to ask this question, he begins to give possible explanations to the question. These possible explanation to the question is what we call hypothesis. It is called a hypothesis because these explanation, they have not yet been proven in the lab. So the next thing that the scientist does is then to carry out experiments in the laboratory. And when the scientist carries out experiments, he gets results. Then after getting these results, if these results confirm the explanation that he has given, the scientist can then draw a conclusion. 
So, the first step is to make an observation. After making the observation, the scientists begin to ask questions regarding the observation, and then it tries to give possible explanation. At this stage, it's known as hypothesis. And then the scientist goes to carry out experiments in the lab and get results. So when he obtains this result, he tries to analyze this result. And if the explanation is supported by this result, then he can then draw conclusion. So these are the steps of the scientific method. This is how scientists go about solving problems in the world. It takes all these processes for a single problem to be solved. So scientists are actually doing a very good job in the world now, right now. They have to follow all these steps for them to get a particular solution to any problem. So now we move now to chemistry. So what is chemistry all about? You see here, one thing that strikes uh, to anyone when you hear about chemistry is that you would remember chemistry lab. In the chemistry lab, that's where scientists, in this case, chemists carry out experiments. So you see these, these are test tubes that chemists use in the lab to carry out experiments. When they make any observation, they go to the lab, they use this uh, apparatus to carry out experiment. This is your uh, flat button flask, your conical flask, your measuring cylinder. You see this chemist here, they are actually carrying out experiment. You see this uh, chemist here, she has carried out an experiment and she's actually observing the results. So, you see all these girls here? They are actually in the chemistry laboratory. In the chemistry laboratory, you must wear your lab coat and you must wear your goggles. So you see here, they are all carrying out experiments. You can see each and every one of them is very busy. In the chemistry lab, chemists are always very busy carrying out one experiment or the other. Remember, chemists are always very inquisitive. They want to know why things have happened in the environment and they go to the lab and they try to experiment why those things have happened. They try to know how and they also try to know why. So chemists help to provide solutions to the things that happened around us. All right, so chemistry is the study of matter and all the changes that matter undergoes. Chemistry is the study of matter and all the changes that matter undergoes. The key word there is matter. So chemistry is all about the study of matter. Chemistry studies matter and all the changes that matter undergoes. You see this conical flask here? It actually has matter inside it. This solution inside this conical flask is actually matter. So what chemistry does is that it studies this matter inside this conical flask. It studies all the chemical reactions that this matter undergoes. And it also studies its properties and it analyzes its structures. So this is what chemistry is all about. Chemistry studies matter and it studies all the changes that matter undergoes, be it their chemical reactions, be it their structure, be it their properties. It studies everything about matter. So whenever you are defining chemistry, it is important for you to remember that keyword matter and also to remember that chemistry does not only study matter, it also studies all the changes that matter undergoes in chemistry. So it is important for us to know why do we even bother to study chemistry? Why do we have chemists all over the world? What is the importance of chemistry? So chemistry is regarded as a central science 
because everything we do involves chemistry. If you are studying physics, you need a knowledge of chemistry. If you are studying biology, you need a knowledge of chemistry. The air we breathe involves chemistry because when we breathe in air, we are actually breathing in oxygen. Oxygen has a chemical symbol of O. And when we breathe, we breathe in oxygen and oxygen is a chemical element. So the air we breathe, it actually involves breathing on oxygen and this is also a chemical process. The food we eat needs to be digested. You see this guy here taking this food. This food actually needs to be digested and this happens through a chemical process. This chemical process breaks down the food particles into smaller particles so that the food will be able to digest. So food digestion is a chemical process. When you cook, you are actually carrying out a chemical process. You see this guy here in the kitchen making egg. The egg that he's making, it will follow a chemical process known as protein denaturation. And when this happens, the eggs will be able to solidify. So all these processes involve chemical process. And that's why we say that chemistry is involved in everything that we do. So this is where I'm gonna stop for today. Please like this video and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.